Hello world, welcome back to another CTF Learn Challenge video. In this video, we'll be going through the Forensics Challenge, Forensics 101. Let's get into it. Think the flag is somewhere in there. Would you help me find it? And they give us a link to download whatever it is, right? Now I've already downloaded it for our convenience and I have it in my Kali box here because Kali is what we're going to use to solve this. Could solve it in Windows since I do have the strings executable for sys internals already kind of set to my environment variables. So I could use it in there, but we're going to use it in Linux since that's what a lot of people will be solving this challenge on probably. So it's basically an image and we can open it up and see what it looks like. Okay. So if a redhead goes crazy, is it called ginger snaps? Ha ha ha. All right. Anyways, let's just go ahead and run a strings on it. And then let's grep for CTF learn. And nothing. Okay. So what I've found in these CTFs or sorry, in CTF learns challenges is the flag format doesn't always stay the same. It doesn't always say CTF learn. It sometimes says other things prefix before it. So you can't really rely on that. So we're just going to do a strings and we're going to say nine F again, and then we'll do a length of 10. So we'll look for strings that have at least a length of 10 and we'll parse them out. And there we go. It was indeed in our data flag. Wow, data is cool. So let's go ahead and grab that. Whoops. And we'll submit it right here. And we solved it. Looks like we didn't need to put the CTF learn flag format in for this one. That's cool. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.